United Airlines is out with a plan pushing diversity for new pilots. The company wants to train 5,000 of them over the next decade and is promising at least half will be women or people of color. United would also be taking on applicants with no flying experience, which means I'm there. I'm there. I'm going to go to you first, Pete, because you're the clo you look like you're a pilot. I feel like when I get on a plane, you're the person. How sexist is that? What? How sexist it, is that? No, it's also he racist. like the pilot. It's sexist and racist. Mm. But you know what the thing is, Pete? I don't think this is a bad mm. goal. This doesn't sound bad to me. It's just that you never should tamper with the system like or lower a standard to reach to reach the numbers you want. Isn't that just common sense? I agree. Uh, you don't want me flying anything, Greg. I would love to fly with you. Uh, I, 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 I wouldn't put my life in your hands in that situation. But here's what I here's what I want to work by 23rd. I want my Wi-Fi to work. I want them to lose my bag less. I want less delays, and I want to get to where I'm going quicker. I want I want everyone every plane to stay in the sky regardless of whether the pilot is a male or female and the passengers are males or females it doesn't matter to me what's the best business decision for united and that's not what's going into this and here's the problem it can be a nice goal greg as you talked yeah. about i'm all for people from different back but my experience with bureaucracies or big companies is that once you send a quota or a percentage meeting that quota becomes more important than the performance goals and the outcomes and pretty soon you start hedging on who qualifies who doesn't did they Passed this? Did they not piss past that? Regardless of gender and skin color and all of that, that's not where you want to be focused. You want the best people, especially when it comes to getting people from A to B in the air. Yeah, which shouldn't know, be me. But um, I, I don't know if I agree completely with you, Pete, because Kennedy, I think that like obviously they, the people that are making this decision, have already thought about this, right? It's like they're not gonna like. There's nobody in a. I can't believe there'd be somebody in a boardroom that would go. You know what? Let's lower the, you know, let's, they really don't have to be great pilots. Let's get some people in here. I don't think anybody's actually going to say, it's like, sir, it's like you wouldn't do that with a surgeon. But no, but that's that's a that's a great comparison because there are objective requirements to surgery and to flying a plane. Right. You know, there there are other it, like being a painter or an actor. Th those have more subjective qualities, and and that I understand. And this is where you truly want to be colorblind because you want people to meet those standards. Uh, I fly. I've flown seventy thousand miles on United this year. I am a mm. very loyal United passenger. Make me Global Services, by the way. I, this is ridiculous. Uh, what but I will say, when I get on a plane and I hear uh, a female pilot come on board, it, it gives me great comfort because I think that she's G.I. Jane or Lady Maverick and has competed against the guys and has worked twice as hard for half the credit and has risen through the ranks to, to fly a massive plane. Uh, so I, I actually like that part. I don't recognize gender in voice, Kennedy. So uh, <laughs> when I hear, I just hear a voice. Uh, Juan, um, what do you think is this? Is this uh, anything surprising or, I don't know, interesting? I just think it's good news, Greg. I mean, to me, you know, I, you know, safety is number one. Any airlines that doesn't <laughs> operate a safe airlines is a is going out of business. And what we got right now is, I think it's last year, two percent of all pilots uh, were black, but only five percent were, were women. I mean, what, why a women have brains and ability? I don't know why a woman can't fly an airplane. To me, part of this issue is that both the military and commercial aviation is overwhelmingly a white and male occupation. And I think it's just time to open up the doors. You know, every pilot, everybody, you know, beginning starts with no flight experience. So just give people an opportunity. You know, Dana, I know this doesn't apply to you because you fly privately wherever you go. Yeah, right. And, and, uh, um, but I, do just you... can't, I can't reach the pedals. Yeah, the pedals. <laughs> there are no pedals in the plane. <laughs> you know, let's, can we all just agree that the airline industry is racist? Oh, yeah. I'm on. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and also, Josh Ernest, if you're listening, please make Kennedy Global Services. It's the Come least on, you can man. do. Come on. Help her and out. And by the Help way, here's, out. here's the big secret. The pilots don't even fly the planes. No, uh, that's true. Computers fly planes. That, that's why they can do this. Uh, they, they can have, like, you know, redheads and, and morbidly obese people. And, you know, those are the people who are, who are really, uh, they feel the, the most oppressiveness in society. Yes. I want more diversity in the bathrooms. Oh, God. Ah. The fastest <laughs> is up next. I